I am finally getting around to bowling out the seats for my um, three-legged tri-stool um, bar stool. Uh, I'm supposed to dish out, bowl out uh, the inside because our bottoms are not flat, our bottoms are round. So I, I tried this method. I bought uh, a bit, uh, what is that, like an inch bit, uh, kind of like a bowl bottom. And I put it on my drill press so that I could just go down about a quarter of an inch. Um, the flaw with this is, man, it's not really secure and you really gotta hold it and it has possibilities of jumping. Um, so it's probably not the best way to do. The second flaw with this um, is it can't get the middle because the size of my drill press. If you had a bigger drill press, you could get the middle. Um, but again, it's not the safest way to do it. Probably not the best. I might try my router table next. So after I couldn't get it all the way drilled, uh, dished out, I came over to my um, little hand router, put the bit into there, and then went and packed uh, the inside part that was still there. Now I've tried this just using the hand router and the whole thing, which is a pain for one big reason. Um, you lose your surface, your reference surface, as you cut it away, you cut away your reference surface. So you're really going to get uneven. Um, as I can feel this, you know, I'm pretty even around the, you know, the, that outer rim that the drill press can get because it only goes a certain depth, but then this depth in here is not very even, which is good or bad. And then it's lots of sanding. I've already started to sand this. Um, it looks, comes out looking like that when I've got it gone. And then I, um, I've been sanding this in just lots and lots of circular sander and then some hand sanding. Um, and even a, a quarter inch round over bit on the router table. I didn't, I didn't try the router table yet. I might try the router table to do the whole thing. To me, the flaw with that is you can't see what you're doing because the router is sticking up and you've got to flip it over to route it out. Um, so, I don't know. Different ways to play with it. This is the tri stool, the three legged plywood stool, plywood spoke stool. It's a plan by April Wilkerson um, on YouTube and she makes these little tri wing things, kind of like that, um, to hold the legs together. I'm just trying to get some 60. Um, and then it's basically, she, it's just some plywood, extra plywood, cheap stuff, any, anything really. Uh, you want to make it out, we got scrap. Her idea started because she had some extra wood and she could make seats out of it by gluing just pieces together and then cut out the seats. So that's where she started from then the frame was just anything else. Now, the top, you notice, I didn't make the uh, tri-wing. That tri is a little bit tough to make it at first. You really got to work on it. And really the only thing that matters uh, is the 120 degrees for the slots. That's all that matters because we have three slots, there's 360 degrees at an angle. You need to get those at 120 degrees. So the top, the, so these, the top and the middle can be any shape you want. Doesn't matter. Make them a circle if you can, if you want to. The top is about a, what was it? It was a four inch radius roughly from the center to the outside edge of uh, the slot. And the bottom one is a seven inch radius from the center point to the outside edge of the slot. And you notice that the legs stick out the of the top piece and they also stick out on the middle piece. Um, again, it's just getting those slots at three at 120 and then uh, cutting the slots so that the legs fit in snugly, but you're still going to want to glue them in. Um, that's, you know, it. Uh, I couldn't cut these on my CNC router because my CNC router only goes 12 by 13, and this is a 14-inch piece, basically. Um, 
when I was looking at it as a circle. Now maybe I could fit it on there now because of it's not 14 inches anymore, so to speak. I'd have to think of that. Um, but the, the trigonometry says it should be okay. Um, and obviously the top could be done. But uh, if it's just got it, if it's just freehand is fine, um, then just do it freehand. Because the shape doesn't matter. As it is, that top part is going to be covered by the seat. So, and yeah, I'm just going to drill, you know, put screws up. Uh, there and I think that I like having some extra wood here instead of just the trifold because that that trifold that tri wing there's not a lot of wood to screw the seat to so I really prefer having that top part be some extra wood here to screw um, the seat to um, and down at the bottom we'll see I've got a couple other ones with that aren't tri aren't this tri wing. And so I wonder, are they going to hit your legs? Um, are they going to be footrests? You know, whatever. Um, the legs, again, play with any size you need. But the plant has them about 26 and a half long. Uh, they taper from a three to a two. And you want to cut a little 10 degree um, angle on it to get the slope. And that's easily done on a miter saw rip these easily on a table saw and then cut the taper on a um, on anything you want I mean you could rip, put a jig up on the on the table saw but I actually just freehanded it on the band saw um, I just came part way down picked the spot and then measured in an inch and then drew a line and cut it on the freehanded it on the uh, Bandsaw. So you could freehand it with a jigsaw. But yeah, you know, the freehand stuff doesn't matter that much, right? So there are my little 